big changes for the Farber family? Hey, we moved. Not too far, only about five miles from our old house. So don't worry, I am still kicking around Iowa City, living and working in the greater Iowa City area. My husband, Dave, and I joke about being serial movers. It seems like we move about every five years. I suppose it is an occupational hazard of being a realtor. When you look at so many houses, you are bound to be tempted. We actually were not planning on moving, not at all. In fact, we weren't even really looking, but then this house came on the market. You know how it goes. I was looking at the MLS and it caught my eye, largely because of its location. It's out of town, but only by a little bit, and it sits on 1.4 acres. Look, some people in the world love hustle and bustle, while other people really crave peace and quiet. I am definitely more of an elbow room and peace and quiet type of girl, so this location is perfect for me. It gives us the space and the quietness that we crave, but I am still very close to Iowa City, Coralville, and North Liberty, which is perfect for my job. Today's video is all about the actual moving process with tips to make it just a little bit less painful. And stay around until the end for a sneak peek into the newest addition to our Farber family menagerie. There are a lot of ways to manage a move, from completely doing it yourself to paying big bucks for professional movers to handle everything for you. While that would be lovely, it does cost a lot of money. We chose to do more of a hybrid approach to try to keep our moving costs down, and the actual moving process took us two days. Unpacking, <clears throat> well, it's still in progress. On the day of closing, we focused on moving our boxes, plants, and smaller items ourselves in a U-Haul truck we rented. We enlisted the help of our four kiddos, which are all teenagers, and a couple of their friends. Yes, yes, we did pay them with both money and food, and our costs for this portion of the move were far more affordable than what we would have had to pay the professional movers. non-professional moving service portion of the move. It was my own oldest son who committed this crime to a couple of my bowls and my daughter was actually quite upset to discover some of the stems on her Monstera plant were bent in the moving process. So in retrospect, I would definitely recommend gently tying the stems and leaves up on your larger and more delicate plants, possibly even wrapping around the plants with packing paper to protect and support them. The next day when the movers came to the old house to begin loading furniture, my daughter and I, well, we left to get out of the way and we went over to the new house to start unpacking boxes. I recommend focusing on the most used areas of your house first, and for us, that's the kitchen. Our new house does have less cabinets than our old one, so it was a bit of a challenge to figure out where everything should go. Eventually, I had to start thinking of my cabinets and my door space as prime real estate space. And the only things that get that kitchen space are our most frequently used items. Stuff that doesn't get used that often got shipped down to the shelves in our basement storage room. Second, on my personal list of rooms to get under control first are the bedrooms and at least one bathroom. If you're doing much of the moving and unpacking yourself, trust me on this, you are going to be completely exhausted at the end of the day, and you will thank yourself if you have some place to take a decent shower and a bed to lay down in. Something I did that I thought worked out really well was to precisely label each box with what was in it and what room I wanted it placed in when it came off of the truck. 
I also labeled each person's bedroom in the new house with a piece of paper that had their name on it that was taped to the door frame. So all of the boxes were dropped off in the right rooms when they came off of the truck. Sunroom. Sunroom, that way. I've been unpacking all day, <clears throat> supervising where the movers are putting things, and Lordy, I am just, I am pooped. I'm exhausted. Um, moving sure is a lot of work. <laughs> a lot of work, oh gosh. Uh, now I'm looking at a huge pile of my mother-in-law's china that was passed on to me, and need to put it away dusty. I'm mentally debating if I want to clean it before I put it away or deal with it later. Another tip is to pack a box of your your high priority items and mark that box in a way that makes it really stand out from the rest or just keep it in your car. In this box, you're gonna want stuff like snacks, drinks, medicine that you might need, items that you just, you have to have, like your glasses or your contact solution, tools to put stuff back together, like your bed frames, toilet paper, and basic cleaning supplies. Once the main spaces in the house are unpacked, it's really just a matter of maintaining your motivation to finish the job. I am still working on unpacking our house and we've been there a week now. I'm trying to balance it with both work and just general life. It really seems the most manageable to me when I break it into little chunks for myself. For instance, I tell myself that I have to unpack two boxes a day or else I set a timer and I see how much I can get done in 30 minutes. This really seems to work better for my kids too. So. Have you been waiting for the surprise? <laughs> well, we now have chickens. The chickens came with the house and I knew nothing about caring for chickens up until about a week ago. Let's go see the chickens. This is the funniest thing to me. When I go outside now, they come running for me. Hello, ladies. What's up? <laughs> this is Beyonce. She's the queen bee. She's the head. Ow! Don't peck my foot, lady. This is Oreo. She's supposedly my favorite when she's not pecking my feet. Did you guys make some eggs today? Let's go check it out. They're following me. Let's head down to the chicken coop. I've got a herd of chickens milling around my feet on every side. Oh. That goofy one is named Franny. Okay, pardon me. Let me through. Excuse me, can I open the door? Pardon me. Let me in. All right, this is why they're really excited to see me. Tasty, crunchy, dried mealworms. I know you're jealous, YouTube friends. You want some crunchy mealworms? Hey, move your chicken butts. Pardon, pardon. Bok, bok, bok. Okay, patience is a virtue. Let me buy. Okay, let me show you. This is what they want. Hey, so grabby. Oh. 
Ding dong, you're on the wrong side of the fence. Look, look, come here, come here. There we go. Okay, let's see if they made any eggs. those pretty I am actually finding them to be much more endearing and entertaining than I expected them to be my Google search history is now totally full of chicken searches and I may or may not be turning into a chicken trivia weirdo did you know that chickens are the closest living relative to Tyrannosaurus Rex yep according to the Smithsonian you can actually see it in their beady little eyes, don't you think? Hey, it's been fun, and I'll catch you later.